Well, tonight the school board passed a resolution on those school closures, and they still have not shared which schools that they are recommending to close, but they did share a little bit more of a timeline. Now, before the meeting even started, around 150 people rallied in front of the district office, calling against school closures and for the school board to find other ways to fund the school district. We heard from a lot of upset students and their families at tonight's meeting. Many who spoke were from marginalized communities. All of them upset about potential school closures before the school board eventually voted on the resolution, which passed 6-1. There are kids and families at so many of our schools who have worked so hard to settle in. Closing schools harms students, could further destabilize enrollment, and won't fix the deficit. It is unconscionable that we live in one of the wealthiest places on earth, and yet it is students and families being asked to bear the burden of underfunded schools. But please do the resolution that was passed directs the superintendent to present preliminary recommendations and supporting analysis for up to five close school closures, but no more than five school closures, at least for the 2025-26 school year. It also directs him to develop a multi-year plan for fiscal stability, as well as a task force to help guide him along this process. Now, Dr. Brent Jones spoke up at tonight's meeting, and he says he plans to release a preliminary plan around October 21st, followed by engagement and hearing before revealing a fiscal plan by June of next year. For now, live in Seattle, Neil Wong, Fox 13 News.